up guys, how you doing? Today is a new type of adventure video for me. I'm gonna be entering the world of metal detecting, uh, specifically metal detecting underwater. We've had a lot of rain here in Bedford and the Sackville River has uh, flooded, as you can see. So the water levels are quite high. And uh, this is a good opportunity to get into a couple spots uh, with this thing. I've, I ordered it off Amazon. I'm not sponsored in any way. I have no idea how it's gonna go. But we're gonna see what we can pick up with this and help clean our uh, waterways and maybe find some cool stuff while we're doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm super excited. Um, I've learned a lot by watching a lot of you metal detect on land and some underwater. So hopefully this isn't a bust and I find, I don't know, something cool. And uh, I'm gonna go get my gear on and I'll see you in there. So as you can see, the water levels have gone up pretty significantly. So there's probably a good chance of new stuff to be found even without the water, or even, sorry, without the metal detector. And uh, yeah, there's a bit of a stronger current uh, than I'm used to. So I'm excited. It kind of makes it a little bit different for me. And uh, yeah, really excited to test out this, this underwater metal detector. Just gotta look for a place to store keys to my car. Okay, it is on. This is a sealed, as I can possibly make it. Yep, okay. see this current holy I'm gonna have my work cut out for me
so we're out of the water. I definitely had a lot of fun with the metal detector. I think I'll have more fun in this river when it's not so high. That's the highest I think I've ever been in it. Um, and the current is super strong, so it didn't give me a lot of opportunity to kind of go down the middle of the river. So I kind of went along the side. Uh, but that said, I did uh, get some metal here. So I'm gonna show you, there's a big chunk of it ugh, right here and it has some letters on it right there are and it looks like a p and is o or zero so that was kind of cool um it uh, did lead me to one of these bottles here which was kind of cool uh it was there was some metal and then i took out the metal and then a bottle was underneath it so that's a cool little pickle jar what else we got in here we got this piece here not sure what that was um what else? I think, I'll, oh yeah, this this is kind of holding all the stuff. My uh, friend Lee on uh, YouTube, otherwise known as Bondi Treasure Hunter, and get a kick out of this if he's watching. It's a uh, cash box, buddy. <laughs> no coins in it, but uh, I thought of you when I first saw it, and so all the metal that I found in here, I just kind of piled it in here. There's, uh, not sure what that was. Uh, did find a broken teacup another bottle this was cool and I think I have this on camera uh, the fork that was buried that metal detector worked better than I thought so uh, it's kind of cool to find a fork there's another piece of metal here and this was a screw embedded in a rock and just kind of be careful here there's a pull tab there my friend Dirtfish Mish will probably say yep you're probably gonna find lots of those but Yep, nothing in that. Maybe that was stolen and then chucked in. Um, another piece of metal right here. Don't want to ruin these new gloves here. Um, and then the last thing, oh yeah, another pull tab there. And I'm gonna show you guys the last couple things here. There were a couple coins that I found. So the last two things are two Canadian pennies. One says 1987 and one says 1981. Um, I'm gonna treasure these. These are the first coins I've ever found in my life with a metal detector. I know they're pretty much worthless, but uh, pretty cool to me. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's video. It's a little bit different. I'm excited to try out the metal detector in different areas and maybe go to some beaches and see what I can find there. Uh, but this was a good start for me. So I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. Uh, peace and love from Bedford, Nova Scotia.